guys, guess what? We are in Vienna. Beautiful Sophia. You haven't seen her in a while, but she's back. We're back. And better than ever. Um, why are we in Vienna? Actually, we're here for Monoskin. We're going to their concert tonight. Tonight? But we decided to come one day earlier and spend like two or three days here to enjoy the city as well yeah. and see some friends. And we're actually staying with Sophia's cousin, cousin. second removed, whatever. Yeah. And he has the most beautiful apartment mm. in Vienna. It's actually insane. I want to show you just a little bit because obviously I don't want to invade his privacy, but it's so gorgeous and we're really excited. We're just going to take you along through the city through the strolls maybe for a little skate sesh tomorrow and definitely for the concert tonight yes. so let's go <laughs> <laughs> Okay, honey baby, tell us. Give us a little roll first. Ooh, yes. I oh. Ooh. So this bag actually my roommate or like that mate's mom made this for me. Yes. Uh, she also sells them. I'm gonna give you the link. Yeah, I'm gonna her tag her. Super cute. Go get a bag. And then this leather jacket is my dad's. I stole mm. it from him and now it's mine. Love. And the top with the pretty bag detail. Mm. I found in a thrift store in Berlin. These pants, I call them Adam Sandler pants. <laughs> Those are um, Urban Outfitters. And then the shoes are Doc Martens and just are probably H&M. Yes. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so bag first. This I got sent by a friend. I never really wear bags like this, but this coat is like my favorite thing ever. It's from my mom. She wore it when she was my age, and now I wear it, so we love that. And then everything else. This is Wilhelm. This is Brandy. This is Brandy. This is Vans. For our first day in Vienna, we decided to just start strolling through the city. We hopped into some thrift shops and bookstores and stopped to have some coffee and tea in one of the cute cafes. Obsessed with time, no clue what's at stake. In the final round of a lifelong game, so I step out of bounds. We're just gonna go and get ready now. I'm super excited. It's gonna be super fun. We're gonna be very out there because obviously it's like a rock concert. Just to show you the shoes I'm wearing. Obviously these bad boys. And we're gonna match the style with the makeup too. So let's go. <laughs> I'm so damn cool. We are ready! So cool. 
ready. We're gonna go now. I'm obviously taking my phone because I don't want to break this 5,000 bucks camera. Any words? No, I think that's it. No words. Let's <laughs> go. <laughs> This is fucking gross, bro. Oh, okay, uh. <laughs> Sophia's cousin Rolf was such a gem and he made us an awesome breakfast in his cute little living room. It was such a moment. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> We're back. It's day two and we have many thoughts. Yeah. And we don't have a lot of words for the concert because it was insane. Yeah, I'm speechless. Maybe we're gonna film a little rant after about how much we adored every single person. Enjoyed every single second. Just had the best time of our lives. <laughs> but we're gonna head into Vienna now and just probably because the weather's not that good. Mm -hmm. Visit some coffee shops, read some books, have some coffee. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> Don't worry, go and get some sleep while you always in a hurry. 
We went into a super cute book cafe called Phil and there are actually a laptop free space which I thought was really funny so Sophia and I were forced to read and relax which was definitely good for both of us workaholics. And the whole vibe there was very bookish, they had quotes on the menu and books flying around everywhere. All in all, we stayed in that cafe all afternoon and had a great time there. After we hung out with some of my friends at the book cafe, we actually met up with some of Sophia's friends and we went into one or two bars that night, which I did not film, but the very next morning was already time to leave. We made our long way back taking several trains, some of which were obviously late, and we also reminisced on the absolutely amazing concert we had in Vienna, which I will tell you about now. So, I am back home, and of course Sophia and I forgot to talk about the concert at all, so I wanted to sit down and kind of tell you my experience, because it was honestly, I'm, I'm gonna say that right now, it was the best concert I've ever been at. It was insane. Okay, so, first of all, the music the album because Sophia and I have had the tickets for ages the album wasn't even out at that point there was like so much switching back and forth because of me being on Hawaii and she had like a job and all these things back and forth so we didn't know if we actually could really attend so neither of us started listening to the album really more than like one or two weeks before we went to the concert I literally only started listening to the album a week before and in the beginning the first two rounds I was like mm, I don't know not so good but by now I love every single song they're so good so the music 10 out of 10 amazing they even said it themselves they had like one category of just f off this is our stage we don't care we do whatever we want to rock and roll one part of like really heartbreaking songs to kind of tell their story of how is to be away from loved ones all the time because of their touring obviously and then the third was like kind of like the fake social media thing everybody's putting on and i totally saw that in the songs it was insane and also in their attitude while being on stage <sighs> lovely also talking about the stage it was so fun. At one point for the gasoline song, there was like actual fire coming out and I had fire on my shirt. So I was like, yes, it was so good. I loved it. The performance of like each of the band members, Vic who plays the bus. I don't know what it's called in English, but the, not the guitar, but the other guitar. God, I sound so bad. Then there's Thomas who plays the guitar. There's Ethan who plays the drums and obviously Damiano who sings. And each of them mastered their instruments so well. I was actually blown away by how well they were playing because obviously I did know that they were good live performers, but I've never watched a live concert from them before because I wanted to be surprised and I was very surprised. Each of them was so good. Damiano's voice, oh my God, wow. That was, that was something. Also the outfits were amazing. It, oh, it was just so good and then by the end Damiano actually slapped like a piece of cake on Victoria's head because it was her birthday before and then she had cream everywhere and she rubbed it onto everything everybody else and Damiano picked it up and put it on his nipple and Sophia and I were just going crazy it was insane also the only thing I was not really happy about is like the crowd the people who were there because obviously they're still very present on social media they're still very hyped up they're still all of them very like sexy and very nice and very present so I feel like there were a lot of girly girls there if you know what I'm saying if you're a girly girl yourself don't feel offended but it is a rock concert at the end of the day and Sophia and I were headbanging our way through this concert we were screaming shouting jumping our way through this concert and in the beginning everything was super tight and because we kept headbanging and just went crazy we had so much space all of a sudden because all the girls were like oh what are they doing we annoyed everybody it was so funny but yeah that was the only thing I didn't really love but I don't know if it's because of their age because they're all 21 22 24 which is insane, they look like they're 30 because they look so grown up or I don't know if they took something 
I don't I have no idea but they went for two and a half hours straight it was insane they didn't stop do you know that when you put Spotify on and you like put it on fade out so like one song fades out and the, the next one starts right off that was exactly their concert they literally stopped the tones of the song not even finished yet and Damiano was like let's go and just started shouting and singing the next one I was like oh Jesus it was insane Insane. Sophia and I were absolutely breathless. It felt like the biggest workout just four songs into the whole thing And they probably played like 20 22. I don't even know how many songs they were playing for almost two and a half hours It was insane and I've never ever seen a rock band or actually any band before who would tire their audience out as much as they did. In the beginning, everybody was dancing, everybody was shouting, everybody was screaming, everybody was singing, everybody was jumping around. By the half, by half of it, none other people, other than I feel like me, Sophia, and like two other hardcore girlies even moved. It was crazy. I don't know how they did it. It was insane. I loved it. It was literally one of the best concerts ever. It was so good. It was so good. Like, such icons. Every single one of them, insane. They were so hot. The songs were so good. We had so much fun. I'm so glad I went there with Sophia. We just had the best time ever. It was the best concert I've ever been to, hands down. And I would, uh, I necessarily could pay the money and see them again, but obviously I don't have that money now. But if it weren't as expensive, I would go and watch every single one of their shows. And also I don't know how they do it, cause I was dead for days. I don't know how they do it like every other night. They just go crazy. It's insane. I love them. I love them. They were so amazing. If you are a rock music fan or, you know, just rocky pop or whatever alternative, I don't care. If you're a fan, definitely go see them. Best concert ever. I had the most amazing time. I will stop talking now because I could go on about this forever because it was so much fun. Yeah. I loved it. I had such a good time. Best concert ever, hands down. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for listening to my TED talk about freaking manskin because I love them. And I will see you guys in the next one.